When working in 3D space, you can use the NURBS curve tool to create freeform curves. NURBS curves use a mathematical formula to calculate curves, making it easy to work with complex shapes. To use the tool, select it from the 3D modeling tool set. Once it is selected, you will notice two tool modes and a settings button in the toolbar. First, make sure you set the degree value for the NURBS curve you will draw. This field affects the number of vertices created in the curve. The higher the value is, the greater the number of vertices that are created when you draw the NURBS curve. This will give you more control over smaller segments. Set the value to 1 to create a NURBS curve with linear or straight segments. If no snap points are used when drawing the curve, it will be drawn on the active plane. Notice how the NURBS curve can be drawn in any 3D view. You can start drawing in top view, then switch to an isometric view while still drawing the curve. This makes it easier to snap to 3D points in your drawing, regardless of the elevation. This is what gives the NURBS curve tool the ability to create complex shapes. In this example, I will snap to a series of 3D loci in order to create a complex curve. When drawing a NURBS curve, you can choose interpolation mode or control point mode. Interpolation mode allows you to specify the point in 3D space in which the NURBS curve will pass through. Click to set the first point on the curve. Now, click again to set the point through which the curve passes. You can continue clicking to add more points to extend the curve. Notice the curve passing through each specified interpolation point. When you wish to end the curve, double click to set the end point. You can also choose to draw the NURBS curve by control point. Choose control point mode from the toolbar. Click once to set the first point of the curve. Click again to set a point that it will pull the curve toward. Notice the curve will not touch the point. Continue clicking to add more points until you are done. Double click to end the curve. If you use control point mode, you can assign a weight value to some or all of the vertices in the curve. When you increase the weight, of one of the vertices, that vertex has more of an influence on the curve and will pull the curve toward that vertex. The weight can be changed at any time in the object info palette. You will also notice a show direction box in the object info palette. This places an arrow on the NURBS curve which shows the direction of the curve as it was drawn. The direction can affect the outcome of certain operations, especially when you are creating a surface from a series of NURBS curves. You can reverse the direction of the curve at any time by clicking the Reverse Direction button in the Object Info Palette. Additionally, NURBS curves can be reshaped easily using the Reshape tool. You can view the Reshape tool video for more information on how to reshape NURBS curves. This tool gives you the ability to make any complex shape and to quickly change your drawing or modify it when necessary. NURBS can also be combined, clipped, added to, trimmed, or extended using other tools and menu commands in Vectorworks.